Viewers and subscribers, morning, evening, how they do? Hope you're all doing fine and doing well. Right? Before I go any further, let us say this. Where we are, school is on holiday. Again. So that means, you know what that means? The kids at home. And when kids are at home, you know, them thing is just games, 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 and food, 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 eat, eat, eat. Now the problem starts already. Because, you know what? My two boys, them, I went out this morning and come back. And when I come back, I decided to make something for myself to eat. Because I figure more or less to eat already. Because the big boys, them, them can't help themselves with their wheat a bit and whatever. So I said to them, say, you eat already? They said, oh, we don't know what to eat. We don't like this, we don't like that. So I said, all right, cool. It's near lunchtime anyway. So I'm going to put some lunch in the oven phone and thing. They said, all right, fine. So I said, I'm going to make something for myself to eat. Any, any you want, any, any of it? They said, no. They said, all right, cool. So I did... Just the right amount for myself that I want for myself. Remember, them said they never want any. So I feel good now. I say, yeah, when I finish, I suppose you enjoy it. You know, when I finish making what I'm making for myself, the two of them come and I ask. I ask me for their own. And I say, I never want any. Innit? And then, you know what I have to end up doing now? My liquor that we make for myself, we have to share it for three away. Yeah? And not even that. Them eat, and then them tell me, say, oh, dad, yeah, remember if I put a lunch in the oven. No, where them I go eat for, for them lunch. Me not go eat lunch. So them eat half my food, and no, me can't eat for them food. You understand what I said, though? And then them just gone back upstairs and them gone back to them game and thing. That's where all they give with kids. Yeah, but anyway, I know that me come to talk about what me talk about is before me go any further, me in my kitchen and me have some dishes I wash. And some of my previous videos, somebody said me need to wash the soap off of my thing before I put them up. Listen, I don't wash no form of kitchen utensils and put them in a draining board with soap on them. My sink is two sided, they have a big side and a little side. I've got my soap water with my bleach and thing in one side. And I wash them and I put them on the other side. When I wash a certain amount, I turn my top on and I rinse them off and put them in to my draining board. That is how I do it. I don't put things in things with soap. Anyway, I don't have to explain myself too much. Because I mean, what I tell the people who assume so I put them with um, soap on them. We don't do them thing. We don't wash them kind of way. There. And that's how we learn to wash. We are Jamaican man. We learn to wash the thing them the right way. And plus, besides that's nastiness, if you're going to wash something and put it in with soap, might as well just put it in draining board dirty, said we, it? Anyway, as me say, I know that me come for talk about. What me I talk about now, from the other day, with the, I'm not going too much into any of this thing still as well, you know. I'm just throwing out a little thing out there to hear people's views, right? From the other day, what I've been hearing is that um, for each person that has been deported, yeah, from the UK to Jamaica. That's what I've been hearing. The government or the Prime Minister get 20,000 for each person. I don't know if it's lie, I don't know if it's true. But I want somebody who really know if he can tell me that it's true. Because if it's true, I'm saying 20,000 for each person, 20,000 pound for each person. That's like roughly over three million yeah over three million Jamaican dollars so that 20,000 pound is it going to the government to help towards in rehousing these people that have been deported or is it going towards giving them a start and something because you know they're gonna wanna make money some of them might not be able to get a job, but if it's even to set them up on a little start them off on a little business, because for each person, at, I mean 20,000, 
that can start anybody from a business like three million. Whoa, you can you can make a any person can make a big shop or something big or start can start any business. If you had person get deported. Or is that money that's for the government as his pocket money for him to share between him and him little cronies them where them can get some new cars or maybe invest in some new house? I would like to know because if that's the case, if that money is going to the government and nobody knows where it's going and what they're doing, doing with it, you can expect more people getting deported because the money will be so sweet to them where they will be collaborating with the English government or the English whoever them need to collaborate with and say look send down some more of them send down as much of them as you want send down and make sure me get me 20,000 for each of them sell out sell out thing cause that's a, some people turn that's what you call sell out. When you talk about sell out, some people like some people who come a foreign and try to make life and do things and people call them sell out. That's not sell out. That is called being having ambition and trying to make a better life. That's what it's called. That's not called sell out. Sell out at this you would call sell out. When you not talk about sell out now. At this with the government, if something goes so, because I women hear me know. I cannot say it's true, but if somebody have proof of it, the government should come forward and say, look, set up a committee or something and say, look, we are getting 20,000 pounds for each people that's been deported. And this is an organization or a committee that's set up to deal with these funds for the people that's been deported to house them, to get them into jobs, give them a start in a job, and you can see where the money is going. Other than that, the money I go in a people pocket, back pocket. Yeah? That's how you call sell out. When you talk about sell out, that is sell out. So I don't know. I've been hearing. And um, if there's anybody out there with any proof, <coughs> sorry, because sometimes we say things and we don't have no proof to it. You know? We don't have a proof. But a year say, but that's the biggest rumor or the biggest thing I've been hearing. Yeah, sometimes people get the figures wrong too, because some people put extra zero, and if you put an extra zero, it can either be twenty thousand, or it can be two million, or it can be two thousand pound as well. <laughs> so these are the things we need to know, and what I love to know, and if something goes like this. We want to know where they are do with the money when they get it. And if something go like this, you can expect more people getting deported because the government or whoever in England is responsible for the deportation won't be feeling nowhere for deporting people for little and nothing because they say, all right, we don't have a problem. The Jamaica government said so we, we can send them back. All we have to do is give them 20,000 for each person. That is nothing. That is the least. We can give them that easily. Yeah? So, people, please let me know. I would love to know what's happening. Yeah? Please. And I would like to hear your views and thoughts on the topic. I'm talking about Jamaican people that's been deported. I'm not talking about people from different countries. I'm not. I'm talking about my people because I'm concerned and I'm bothered about my people. That's why sometimes when I talk some things, people might say this and say that. Me talk something because I love my people. I mean, no say my people them can do better than what them do. Some of them, the one them who now do try to do better. Me know them have the potential to do better. Yeah? And what we are trying to do is make the better come out of them. That's all we are trying to do. Yeah? When we talk and if that's the case, me will defend my people um, as much as me can as well for better. Because we know so we are good people. You know what I mean? But we just want to get the badness out of some way. And the negative vibes and the thing out of some way. Because you know the thing set already. You know? Yes. So I want to know that. So this is just my few words on this topic. And as usual, as normal, as I say, I've got some more videos to do which 
I've got to do. Yeah. But as normal as usual, as I say, jobless, don't stress over pest, remember, I know one love, enough love. See you later. Wow, good.